Hi, I'm Phil from Attack Forge, and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can do a red team assessment in Attack Forge. We're going to rely on Miner's attack framework for this red team assessment. In particular, we're going to use the enterprise set of tactics, techniques, and procedures. To get started, the first thing we're going to do is build a new red team methodology in Attack Forge. To do that, we're going to click on Test Suites from the menu. From here, we're going to click on New and create a new test suite that's going to contain our red team methodology. We'll give that test suite a name and a description. We can enter an optional code and choose whether we want this to be published as part of our service catalog for, for users requesting projects. And then assign any tags. Once you're done, click create. So now we want to add our red team methodology as test cases. So we're going to start by clicking on test cases. And here we can see that we have none. So we're going to click on add and then click on import test cases. From here, we have a few different options. What we're interested in is this Attack Forge JSON option. So now we're going to download the latest version of MITRE Attack for Enterprise. To do that, we're going to go to the Attack Forge GitHub repository. And here we can see that we have a number of different industry benchmarks and methodologies that we support. Under red teaming, we can see that we have MITRE Attack Enterprise in version 14.1. So let's go ahead and click on that. So now we want to go ahead and download this methodology so we can then import it into Attack Forge. But before we import it, we want to set up a custom mapping for the fields that we want to include in our methodology. So here in the administration module, we can set all the fields we want to map across from the MITRE attack framework. Now MITRE already has a lot of really good information that we may want to use to build our methodology with. We can take advantage of as much or as little of this information as we need. Now to make it easy for you, we've already built a recommended mapping that will help map the information from the MITRE attack framework to your custom fields in Attack Forge. So now let's go ahead and import this methodology on our new test suite that we just created. We can go ahead and make any changes to the techniques prior to importing them if we need to. But once we're happy, we'll go ahead and select all of the techniques and click on import. Once the import's finished, we're going to click on view test cases. So let's check how the mapping went and see how it compares to what we have in the attack framework. So here we can see the test case for LLM and R and all of the information that's come across from the MITRE attack framework, including the kill chains, references, links back to the tactics and domain, the MITRE attack mitigations, detections, as well as procedures, which have come across as execution flows. Now we might want to add some additional information for example, a diagram which shows how this attack pattern gets exploited. So let's go ahead and add that to the details section. So now that our methodology is complete, let's go ahead and create a red team project. So I'm going to click on projects, new and select new project. So let's give this red team assessment a start and an end date. And now let's go ahead and assign the scope that we're going to be testing. In this case, the internal network for one of these customers. So now we want to pick the new MITRE attack framework that we just created. That's going to now load that methodology for the red teamers to execute. Now let's go ahead and create this project. So 
So now on our new Red Team project, we can click on test cases to see the methodology that the Red Team is going to follow. So from here, we can see all of the different techniques that are going to be executed by the Red Teamers. We can even filter on some of that information that's come across from the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Let's go ahead and see what one of these techniques looks like. So from here, we can see all of the information about this technique that's going to be executed on this Red Team assessment. We can see information about this technique and all of that MITRE ATT&CK framework information that's crucial for the Red Teamers and for the customer. We can see all of that information that we were creating and managing uh, moments ago in that methodology. The best part is you only need to do this once and then it applies easily on any new Red Team project that you set up. If we need to add additional notes as we're performing the assessment, that's gonna be customer facing, we can do that. We can also create internal notes, which is gonna be only relevant for the Red Teamers. Let's go ahead and add a vulnerability to this technique. We're gonna click on vulnerabilities. And now we're gonna click on add. Let's start by searching our Red Team library for a matching vulnerability. Now we're going to show where we found this vulnerability. Let's go ahead and select the network that we're testing and also the areas that we were testing from and add a comment showing exactly which host we were executing the attack from. Let's go ahead and save that. Now let's add some red team information. We're going to add an attack narrative as well as some information about some critical steps that need to be performed prior to launching this attack. Let's go ahead and check the scoring for this vulnerability and that looks okay. And we can also adjust the steps to reproduce if we need to. Let's go ahead and save this and upload some evidence. Let's go ahead and add some screenshots to support this finding. Okay, great. And let's save that and take a look. So let's take a look at the vulnerability. We can see key information such as which subnets were affected and where this attack was performed. We can also see steps to reproduce the vulnerability as well as our red team attack narrative and critical steps. We can also see that the technique has already been linked for us, which is gonna make it easy to show what we were doing that led to this vulnerability as part of our red team methodology. Let's go back and have a look at the technique. So let's click back on test cases. And here we can see that it's already failed and that we have one vulnerability against the LLMNR test case. And if we click on that, we'll see that our vulnerability has been registered. Now let's try building an attack chain to support this attack. We're going to click on attack chains. From here, we're going to click on add and start our attack chain. Now let's give it a meaningful objective. For example, we're targeting the Office 365 admin portal. Now let's include some information about our starting point. We can link MITRE ATT&CK tactics um, as we need. Let's demonstrate the action we're performing. In this case, we're collecting information from the internal network. So now we can start linking vulnerabilities. So let's select the vulnerability and start adding some context of how we're actually exploiting it as part of this attack chain. Let's go ahead and link the next vulnerability.
we'll add another action. In this case, searching for systems that use the same credentials. And then we'll add the final vulnerability to complete our attack chain. Now to cap that all off, we want to demonstrate that we've now captured our flag or achieved our objective. In this case, we've demonstrated how we've achieved full compromise of the Office 365 admin portal by starting as an attacker, collecting some information and exploiting some vulnerabilities we found along the way. Let's go ahead and save this attack chain. So now we're going to finish off this assessment by updating our executive summary to match the outcome of our red team assessment. And then once we're ready, we can go ahead and generate a report. In this case, we can generate a custom red team report and it can include any of the information that we've seen as part of today's video. In summary, Attackforge makes reporting on red team assessments quick and easy. So the next time you try a red team assessment, why not give Attackforge a go and see how much time and effort you can save. Make sure to check out our channel for more insights on how to do testing better with Attackforge. Thanks for watching.